Hi Aquarius, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Aquarius, this is going to be what are their true intentions in love. And this is a reading between you and whoever you are kind of interested in or connected to, right? Let's see. You could be with or without them. These are general, so please know that the whole reading could be vice versa between you and your person. So let's get started for Aquarius, please. They're general readings. Please don't live or die by these readings. No, don't do that. If you're really kind of curious, then you get your own reading, right? Yeah. This could be, you know, uh, Carlos's reading or, you know, or Yvette's reading and, you know, not yours. It depends. <laughs> let's see what we have, you guys, for Aquarius and a person. Yeah. So let's see. Show me the energy for Aquarius and their person, please. We have the mouth spirit, tend to the small things. Okay. Pay attention to... Either details or just small kind of chores or something like that, but yeah. And we have the skunk spirit, know your worth. Okay, uh, so even if you smell bad, Aquarius, know that you're important. Just kidding. <laughs> With the skunk spirit, yeah, the skunks, yeah. Okay, so let's see what we have for... Skunks are really interesting animals, yeah. When you see them, they're super... They're interesting. Mm-hmm. So show me the energy for Aquarius and their person, please. We're going to put your cards down first, Aquarius. And we have uh, the world card. Mm -hmm. And I kind of want to do this reading different today. I'm going to put these cards diagonal. That's kind of how I'm going to do it here. Yeah, I just kind of want to do this reading a little bit different today. And your person's cards are going to be here, diagonal. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start with their past energy. And we're kind of going to go, uh, we're going to just move backward a little here a little bit. Past energy is the Two of Cups. This is your person's energy. Their current energy is the Page of Swords. They have the Seven of Cups in the block for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else. And what they want is the Emperor. What they fear is the Queen of Wands. So your person might be Aries, Leo, or Sag, right? The Queen of Wands is here. Not really sure if I'm going to continue to do it like this, but I'm just putting the cards out here right now. These are the same. Uh, I just move the cards, like physically move them, but it is the same spread, the same reading. Yeah, it is. So Aquarius... Uh, you know, you could be walking away from somebody. I feel like you are questioning whether or not you should really walk away from them. I feel like you are. Uh, because you have the Queen of Swords in the block, that's you. But you're like asking yourself a question. You're discerning a situation. Let's see why you were in the World card energy in the recent past. Three of Pentacles. You could... I feel like, you know, there's an ending and a new beginning. Or you're walking away because your person maybe wants an, uh, like a new beginning with somebody possible here. Mm -hmm. It's also possible that things didn't work out for you in the past with this person. Maybe because uh, maybe because there's somebody else involved. Three of Pentacles. It's possible here. Five of Pentacles. Wow. I feel like there was an ending in the past because your person left you out for somebody else. You could be doing that too here, though, all right? You're not an angel, Aquarius. You are uh, the water bearer. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. You guys, everybody's an angel, right? <laughs> okay, let's see what we have. Currently, wow, you look like you're walking away from a water sign. I'm going to put these cards back here the way they were. It's kind of easier to look at the reading. Yes, it is. <laughs> Look at that. It's okay. Try to innovate and or something like that. And then you go, well, I like the other way. It's, it's easier for you guys to see the cards too, right? Yeah. So let's see, move these cards over. Okay, let's see what we got here. And There could have been an ending because your person walked away for, for a water sign. Or they are a water sign, but uh, so far in this reading, it's you. 
a potential water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. And let's see, the Seven of Swords. Wow. Let's look at your block. I feel like you're trying to figure out if your person's walking away to be with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are just doing this, walking away, maybe. Maybe you're juggling here. Mm -hmm. But it looks like, to me, you are kind of questioning because it's showing up in the block. Yeah. Questioning whether or not your person is in this Eight of Cups energy right now. Or maybe you're just questioning if they're in love with somebody else and they're walking away. Mm -hmm. What you want, Aquarius, is uh, the Star card and the Nine of Swords. You're really upset here, Aquarius. See, you see, this is what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. Like, it's them walking away or it's them leaving you out. And here you are, right, because the man's crying. That's you. This is in your desire position. Nobody wants this. I feel like you want to heal it with them, but you're really upset here. Like, you're worried that that's not going to happen. Yes, Five of Cups. OMG. Grieving and a sad ending. <coughs> and in your doubt is... The Seven of Wands, you're really overwhelmed here. So you're doubting you can heal the situation with them. Or you're doubting you're going to have like a commitment with them. Something like that. A union. The Two of Wands is their energy. <coughs> In the recent past, Justice and the Six of Pentacles. They could be Libra here, but uh, wow. Let's have a look here. I feel like your person is all... In their current energy, they've been thinking about this a while, the Page of Swords. Uh, they're thinking about somebody they're in love with. Yeah, mm -hmm, they are. And uh, maybe that person's married. Why do they have the Page of Swords in their current energy? For Yeah, they're trying to figure out if they can hold on to this person here. Maybe who's married or a Libra, possibly. Nine of Cups. Your person is yeah, head over heels with about somebody. Because they have the Two of Cups and the Nine of Cups right here, in their block is the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So they want this passionate new beginning with somebody, but, you know, maybe somebody has options here. Like, you know, like their person might have options, this person that they are thinking about. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Or the block for them is maybe somebody has to make a really tough decision. Maybe to walk away. They, As I said... Your person could be dealing with somebody who, like, is, like, in a third party. Like, they have, they're married to somebody else, or they're with somebody, too. That's how this reading looks. What they desire here is the Emperor and the Moon card. Mm -hmm. This is what they desire. So, you know, let's see what else they want. They want, I feel like they're, they're, they have these doubts here. They kind of really want to know here whether or not somebody's going to come and, like, be kind of, like get into union with them. Like, devote themselves here. Mm -hmm. I think what they want here is they want, like, they have doubts and fears, but they want somebody to, like, Start to do that, like to like take action to do that. The emperor, like take control. Yeah, they want somebody to be single. Nine of Pentacles, OMG, see? And the Queen of Wands is showing up with the King of Wands in the reverse. This is what your person is doubting or fearing. Whoa. Six of Wands, they're doubting they're going to have victory with somebody. So we're going to find out all about your person, Aquarius. If you really want to know more about them, yeah, we're going to call them out. And we're going to see how they really feel about you, Aquarius, and also how they are seeing the connection, right? And uh, what is really, truly important to them, like the most important thing in their mind, and also uh, what they are willing or unwilling to do for the situation, what they hide and their true intentions are all super affordable, you guys. They always are. Thank you so much for joining me here today, and God bless everybody here to kind of, uh, kind of understand what is really uh in front of us, all right, yeah, because thank you so much, because they try to trick us, yeah, they do, guys, don't make any comments here about it, all right, God bless everybody, please don't do that, not even mild, kind of, uh, you know, do you think that, you know, people don't understand what you're saying, please don't make any comments, thanks so much, guys.